Friends, hello. Today I want to answer Marat Amarov's question, which he wrote to me. Hello, how do you animate the movement of the grease pencil plane? For some reason, automatic keys are not set for me when moving, or they need to be set manually. When setting keys manually, the line disappears on the next key. So let's start with this button here that uh, activates automatic key placement. Okay, it's in the timeline section. If you switch to, for example, some additional stuff, you won't see it. It's in the timeline section. A second, in the timeline section here, there is a button that activates auto key. Auto keys. Let's consider a simple option. We activate it, let's say, and we create an animation with 100 frames like this. Nothing happens. Look why it doesn't happen because because inside there is an option called replace. This option means that the key will only be placed where there was already a key and it will replace it. You can also choose, for example, add and replace. And this will mean, let's say, in its frame, I'm going to move the character forward now. See, the key set itself automatically. And now we have just an animation which has acceleration and braking because the keys are not linear. And if you change the mode back to replace, you will try to make some new keys. See, the animation jumps again. Uh, perhaps just uh, Marat has this mode on. Uh, perhaps you have this replace mode on and that's why you can't set auto keys. They don't get through. In this mode, uh, if you try to insert the key manually, it also does not install C. No, any can be installed. All right, if we, for instance, set the normal mode, then here you can also manually punch the key. Everything works, here it is. Yes, and now imagine that Marat has auto key turned off. And how to set keys in this case? In this case, you do them by hand. Let's say I move the character forward and press the A button. And this is available. The available option means uh, all available parameters will be enabled. I set keys for all the parameters you see, line color, object, transform, all this. So Marat writes, when setting the keys manually, the line disappears on the next key. If your line disappears on the next key, I presume you're probably setting your keys in draw mode. This is a drawing mode. You can easily call it up by pressing the tab key and you can even not click here. Here's this window, just the hotkey 8. Now I have a drawing mode. My character moves. Yes, I can draw and notice my keys are not set to author now. So the old drawing is not erased if I set the auto key here. My old drawing is immediately erased, but I want to know what exactly is happening. Or rather, I want to show what happens to Marat when he probably setting it by pressing the hotkey to set a key. And in this case, you have a choice here. Insert an empty key in the active layer or insert an empty key in all layers. Turn on the blank keyframes active layer or insert blank keyframe all layers. If you are doing active layers, you see a key is set to the layer that was selected here. In my case, this is line line. If I do the same for the color layer, press the key again. Oh, I'm out. Insert blank keyframe in active layer. You see the fill that was done before disappears because I've put an empty key here and specified that it should insert exactly on its own, which I have selected. Uh, so I'll kill it and Answering Marat's question, I assume that, most likely, you just put a key here, somewhere in your animation, and you're picking one of these options, and that's why the outline disappears. Maybe you just do it on your, like, uh, how to put a key so your drawing is saved, right? In this case, you press I and make a duplicate active keyframe. And in this case, your layer remained, which was working. You can adjust it, for example, like this. See? Now you have adjusted yours and it works as you need. So uh, in conclusion, I'll simply say that it's important to remember that these are the keys to your drawing. Grease pencil is in this menu, not in this window. The one called grease pencil, which you can call up by choosing the dub sheet window. And here you'll have a choice from the general. Action editor, shape key editor, uh, grease pencil. And you just have to remember which mode you are working in. If you are working in draw mode, you will be setting keys on your drawing. Uh, if you are working in object mode, here's object mode. You have the same button, right? And you already have other keys here. This is not for drawing. This is for your canvas available. Okay, uh, there it is. Yes, uh, that's how it works. So friends, this is where I bid you farewell. Marat, I hope I was able to help you. I wish everyone a pleasant evening. Good luck with your artwork. I like and subscribe to my channel. And for now, see you.